How can you support the local Lancaster community? That's what this show is all about. Well, here we are, uh, episode two, where it feels like it took forever to get from one to two. Um, <laughs> it's only one number away. Right, I know, but boy, <laughs> that, that divide is pretty wide like the Grand Canyon. Uh, we've got a great show planned. We've got uh, what I would say is our true, and I'm, I'm positive that uh, our, our local hero guest would probably not like that word hero, but... Uh, I truly feel that's who they are as a family in our community helping out. So we've got a wonderful guest there uh, with the, the Wagner family, as we'll call them, um, because there's a lot going on there that our community needs to know about. We've got um, a couple of really great business guests. Gary uh, Griffith from Painting with a Twist in Lancaster. Really, really cool uh, business. Um, kind of a, I think, a newer thing. I've, I've not done it, but I'm looking forward to doing it at some point. Um, and also Kendra Campbell from Natural Awakenings Natural Publications. Natural yep, yep, who is uh, letting the Lancaster community know there's a healthy way to live, a more holistic way to live, and a more natural way to live. So we've got some great guests, and uh, this is episode two. Uh, who, it's been, who are you? Uh, yeah, right, who am I? It's been three weeks since I've been in the building. I uh, came down with a pretty severe bacterial infection that knocked me sideways to say the least um i was concerned yeah yeah i'm concerned too you know you can you can let the you can let the neck tilt a little bit he's he, he's struggling with his earpiece but, uh, yeah uh, uh, sorry yeah. i'll uh, i'll be more yeah just mobile. Here. loosen up a little bit you know there we are there we go there we go <laughs> but hey i am uh, jeff janakov a co-owner of gardener's mattress and more ben mcclure and uh i guess i would be the same title same title. We're coming to you live from the Dream Room, uh, which is our Try Before You Buy mattress testing room. Also, our studio for Lancaster Connects. But uh, we won't we won't ever do a podcast when you're trying out a mattress in here. <laughs> That's for sure. That would be just a little too weird. So anyway, let's um, let's jump into the formally formally announcing our guests. Uh, so I want to welcome first uh, Marsha Wagner. Uh, she is a member of the Wagner family, representative of Little Hands, which is a, a charity endeavor that, they, uh, that they've that they put together. Marsha, hello, welcome. Good morning. Good morning, happy to have you here with us. Uh, we'll get into more of what, uh, what you all do uh, as a group, as a family, how you give back uh, here in a little bit. Just wanna kind of bring through everybody else. Uh, Gary, thank you for joining us. Um, we're Glad to be here. Very happy to have you join us. Uh, I talked to Gary this morning. Talked to him this morning. Yeah. yeah. See the neck. Just work on the neck thing. It's, it's okay. You're, you're kind of like. It's, it's like I'm lurching. Yeah. It's kind of like like horror flick. All right. Like. And I don't like horror flicks. All right. Here we go. So Gary got to talk to this character this morning. Gary, this is the first time we've been meeting uh, through a screen. Uh, even though we're part of a referral group. So happy to have you here with us. We'll, Thank uh, you. We'll be digging in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a very neat business that you do to kind of get people entertained and and uh, get their uh, get their mojo and entertainment bug, you know, get that itch scratched a little differently. So, uh, so we'll be talking more about what you do here in a minute. And then Kendra Campbell. Kendra, welcome to the show. Thank you Kendra so much. You've known Kendra a long time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's good to be here. So Kendra uh, uh, is uh, one of our advertising partners, but again, I felt really important to have on the show uh, because of her connection. Now I'm moving off the screen. It's like I literally floated. <laughs> Talking about me. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Um, and uh, Kendra, we've known you for a number of years, and I think uh, the integral part you play in the community to to kind of share and, and showcase uh, what a natural, holistic, healthy lifestyle can be like right here in Lancaster. You know, you don't have to go to New York City or your mm -hmm. uh, typical bigger urban centers to get that. It's right here in our backyard. 
So, mm -hmm. uh, so welcome, welcome to the show. We'll get, we're going to get kicked off here uh, momentarily. Uh, so real quick, you can catch this podcast at a number of different places. Um, obviously here on our own social media channels, our own Facebook, our own YouTube, but it's bigger than that. All the major podcast listings where you might catch a podcast, you can, uh, you can search for Lancaster Connects and it'll come up. Uh, we're listed there, uh, soon to be on Amazon Prime TV. And of course, LancasterConnects.com. Uh, that website, LancasterConnects.com, hosts everything for the podcast. That's where you can also enter to win the gift cards uh, that we give away. We'll give away two restaurant gift cards every week. Uh, I don't think people can see them. Yeah, well, I'm just showing, you know, where they can do it. Ben's showing his There's a form there. Uh, digital uh, capable capabilities there with his finger to scroll. I'm like the Vanna White to your Pat Sajak. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, so at any rate, uh, LancasterConnects.com is kind of the hub where you can find everything on Lancaster Connects. And what we're, what we're looking to do and really bring forth a, a place for the community to connect, to introduce people that are doing great work in our community, great charities and great businesses that help support the community that they do business in. So, um, so Ben, why don't you announce uh, yeah. on Lancaster Connects, uh, by the way, um, you can enter to win the gift cards right there on LancasterConnects.com, right on the homepage. So Ben, we've got some winners. We have winners, uh, $25 restaurant gift cards here, uh, a number of gift cards, and you can select uh, which one you like when you come in and pick up your gift card. Um, our two winners for last episode are Josh Belise and Dusty Perkins. So thank you for visiting LancasterConnects.com. Thank you for filling out the contest entry form. And uh, you can pick up your restaurant gift cards at 830 Plaza Boulevard in Lancaster. We're on the road that goes around Park City Mall, kind of on the backside uh, of the mall. Can't miss us. We're attached to Vanskoy, Mauer, and Bass Jewelers. So thank you, Josh. Thank you, Dusty. And uh, everybody go to LancasterConnects.com, fill out the contest entry form. And uh, who knows, maybe you'll be our next we'll, contest winner. We might just draw your name and you win. And uh, just as a little side note, those gift cards we bought back, and we still have a budget to exhaust, but uh, we bought back uh, those gift cards. That was a weird way to say it. We bought back we bought, those gift cards. Yeah, we bought those gift doing cards the, back in. I'm doing the Yoda speak. Um, bought those gift cards back in uh, December, uh, early January, when we had a round of closures, and we felt it was important to help local businesses that were affected uh, very, very, you know, very focused group of businesses were affected. Uh, our, our customers responded. Uh, they helped to commit to the, the fund, if you will. And, uh, you know, again, that's where we see our position here in the, in the community is to, to use our voice, use our ability to uh, raise awareness in the Lancaster community, whether that's through advertising, whether that's through the show, uh, our email list. You know, we really truly believe supporting the community that supports us is paramount. So without too much further ado, guests, we're gonna bring you through one by one. Uh, we'll start off with Marsha first. Um, I want you to do a little brief introduction, maybe a minute or two about who you are, what you do, and uh, how you help the Lancaster community. Um, I am Marsha. Uh, we have adopted um, 11 children, me and my siblings. Um, I had a back in, 2006, a daughter that passed away. Um, that was a new village child. So um, we tried to think of a way to raise money um, for Maple Wish. And um, my dad drives in the convoy. So we raised money all year long for Maple Wish. And then we give the money to the convoy on Mother's Day. And then he drives in the convoy and we start earning for next year. <laughs> Yep, that's that's wonderful. I I had the pleasure to meet your family um, at a Make a Wish event. It uh, I think the running joke there is it's not a Make a Wish Mother's Day event if it's not raining. Is that right? At least when my dad's top driver. <laughs> Every year that he's gotten the top truck, it's rain. Yeah, yeah. So I bring that up that way because. Um, I was, you know, we were, we were kind of in, in the parking lot and the little complex there for the carnival. And I see this, this little guy, um, 
all of a sudden he's he's aside of the trailer singing and it was your i guess would be your nephew is that right yeah. Bubba? yeah yeah yep yeah. so here's Bubba. he's singing his heart out and pouring down i mean pouring rain and he just wanted to get the national anthem off to kind of kick off the uh the convoy because rain or shine the convoy is going to roll on and uh you know i see him singing i say gee whiz what what a sh what a shame for this little guy he wants to sing got you know main stage got shut down because of the rain um so i reach out to our barnstormers contact and i say we've got i know i know you've got the spots filled but we've got to find a way to get uh to get bubba in in front of a big big crowd and so that's what we did. We, and that's, that's how I became kind of connected to your family, got to know what you guys do. Um, and, you know, long story short, we got Bubba in front of a barnstormers crowd of, I think about five, 6,000 people. And he sang God bless America and brought the house down. He dude has some pipes. He's got some pipes for sure. Um, but it, you know, it's interesting. 11, you and your sister have adopted 11 children. That's, that's, Incredible. Why don't you share a little bit more about that? Biological children. I have adopted five. Unfortunately, two of my daughters have passed away, so I have three surviving mm -hmm. children. Um, my other sister adopted three, and then my other sister adopted one. And then we have a great aunt that hasn't adopted any, but is a great aunt to all of them. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and your make a wish efforts. I mean, um, We'll talk a little bit more about that in the show, but really astounding. I mean, to be top driver is raising, uh, last that I knew was about thirty thirty five thousand dollars $35,000 is pretty much that spot. Is that right? Been $20,604 to earn the top spot for this coming time. Okay. Since um, yeah, and, 2000 and, and um, 2015, we turned in over $95,000. That's astounding. 95000 That's incredible. Yeah. Uh, and and Marsha, you probably have a little better pulse on this than I do. I mean, you're, you're directly involved with the charity Make-A-Wish. Um, well, I shouldn't say directly involved. You, you, you raise a lot of money. It's near and dear to you. $95,000. How many wishes does that represent? about um I, I believe that they say uh, that the average wish is between five and nine thousand dollars depending like right now no one's able to go to disney they're not sending any travel type uh, um wishes so those kids have to do choose other things or whatever um but i believe they're typical is between five and nine thousand dollars yeah, that was a that was a number that I was familiar with as well. So I mean, that's just astounding to to be able to be you know in the realm of 15, 20 kids probably. Uh, just kudos to you and your family. Um, you know, we we kind of look at you as local heroes. I'm sure uh, I've met your had the pleasure to meet your father and mother briefly. I'm sure that's a word that's not comfortable, um, but I'm here to tell you, boy, it's. Um, if Lancaster had a bunch more of Wagner's, we Lancaster would be an even better place. So thank you. Uh, we really appreciate it. Um, Marsha, hang on the line, okay? We'll, we'll have you talk more about why you like living here in Lancaster, what your family likes to do. Um, we'll go to uh, Gary Griffith. And Ben, I'm gonna let you talk with Gary a little yeah. bit since, since you know Gary a little more intimately through our referral group than I. Yeah. So Gary, a few minutes, uh, introduce yourself and Ben will guide you through. Oh, we're not hearing Gary. Can you hear me okay? <laughs> we got you, Gary. Go ahead, tell us a little bit uh, about your business. Yes, well, thank you very much. Well, Painting with a Twist is a fun place to be. Uh, you know how every once in a while you're in the mood to have a fun time out with friends, but you're not sure what to do and uh, you don't want to spend a fortune. So what we do is we throw fun parties every day. So you can have a great time with friends uh, whenever you want uh, without spending a fortune. So how does it work? If I wanted to come to Painting with a Twist, do I bring a group of people? Do I 
it, it, can I come with my wife, for example? Um, how does that work? Well, how do we sign up? How do um, uh, how, how, how does that work? Sure. Well, you just um, decide uh, when you want to come, who you want to come with. And you can go to our uh, calendar of events at paintingwithatwist.com, Lancaster, and uh, see if there's something there that you like. And if not, you can just uh, shoot us an email or call us, and we can maybe uh, create a party around your group. You can come individually, or you can come with uh, just a few friends. I got you. So, you know, if I came with my wife, I could potentially be there with other people. But if I had a group of 10 or 15 people, we could kind of rent the space, if you will. We could have our own private group party. Yes, you got it. So you can come and join a public event if it's just you and a few folks. But if you want a private party, uh, we can give you a whole room just to yourselves. That's awesome. And what does it look like when we get there? What do, what do we do? Is there food, um, beverages, perhaps? What, what, is that, what does a, a session look like? I think I right. see a beverage so, depicted over the, Gary's in the this logo. Is a, yeah. uh, <laughs> this is a bring your own beverage. Uh, you can bring your own snacks. Okay. And uh, we'll get you all situated with an apron and with your canvas and your brushes and get you relaxed. A session usually lasts about two or two and a half hours. And uh, when you leave, you'll be uh, going away with your finished masterpiece. Let me show you an example. That's amazing. Can you see this okay? So that was like a Van Gogh or a Rembrandt or what? what is that? Yeah, so you, know, you take a look at this. It would be a nice painting for your wall for the spring. Uh, you, you probably look at that and say, there's no way I can do that. But our artists are... Um, I couldn't. I, I... <laughs> you could do this. You can do this. We specialize in people like you, Jeff and Ben. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note, that's very good. I like that. All right. Well, Gary, thanks for joining us. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk more. I want you to think about when we bring you back, think about what you like to do here in Lancaster, um, how you give back to the community through the business. And uh, we'll, we'll talk with you a little bit more. Hey, real quick, got it in front of me. We like to, uh, we really like our customers to be knowledgeable, right? Uh, just as Gary helps people really make high quality looking paintings. I mean, I, I don't know, man, I'd, I'd buy that painting for my house, you know? Um, it looked very good, but uh, you know, just as Gary helps you uh, become an expert painter, we help you become an expert sleeper and sleep better. Our book right here that we authored is uh, is really what's kind of bringing you this episode. Um, you can get sleep better right from our website, or you can go direct gardenersmattressandmore.com forward slash sleep dash better. We'll send you a copy of this book, and uh, there's a lot of tips in there. Again, it's not so much about mattresses, just like Lancaster Connects is not about mattresses. Uh, Sleep Better is about you. It's truly about you uh, being able to wake up happy, um, wake up pain-free, and we give you a lot of really great sleep tips to, uh, to do just that. And we've had many of our customers get the book, read it, and say, you know, we're gonna maybe just try a pillow for right now because the tips have been so helpful. And, uh, you know, that's great. That's what we're here to do to help people, um, you know, wake up and feel better. So you can grab a copy of Sleep Better. And, you know, listen, if you need a little more uh, in the mattress buying journey, right here where we're coming from, from the dream room, this is, this is truly kind of what put us on the map uh, as, as Lancaster's premier mattress store and where you can have a great buying experience. We built this room uh, to, to help you try before you buy, right? You put on shoes, you put on clothing you might buy. Drive a you car. Drive a car, exactly. And we really want our customers to, to make sure that what they're experiencing, what they're feeling is the right fit. So you can book an appointment in the dream room here with us and uh, you know, just, just reach out. We'll, we'll walk you through that process. It's very simple. But you know, we find the right fit or what we feel is the right fit for you. We move it here into the dream room. You get to try it out with fresh linens, sheets, pillows, all that good stuff. Can I bring my PJs? If you want to bring your PJs, bring your PJs. Yeah, absolutely. We even have a little teddy bear for you. <laughs> there you Yeah. Um, so we even even let you get cozy. And uh, we just like to say, don't do anything in here you don't want mom to see. And then everybody's fine. Um, but uh, that's the dream room. So you can, you can certainly um, reach out and uh, 
And, oh yeah, uh, there are no cameras in the dream room. There's a camera here now. Yeah, we take that out completely. Yeah. There are no cameras. Yeah, we're not in that business. No. So at any rate, um, Ben, before we get on to our last guest, uh, Kendra will bring you on here next. Um, we always kind of like to share a little testimonial about how we help. So Ben has that for us. Yeah, we received a testimonial this week from Lucille Powell, um, one of our Gardener's customers. And, you know, she got her book, uh, got her uh, informational, uh, educational information materials and uh, wrote us a great testimonial. I'll just read it. Um, one of the reasons I selected Gardener's is because I have family and friends that made purchases from your store and were highly satisfied. I also like the 120 day guarantee as bedding is a major purchase. And even though, and even with all the great education the gardener staff provides, it is really hard to know if you made the right choice until you get at home and sleep on it. Dream Room helps with that and our 120 night uh, guarantee helps with that. I also like the fact that you've written materials that a customer can review about how to select a new mattress. I felt confident about your process because of these things combined with the personal references I received in your process, I felt comfortable I was in the right place. So thank you, Lucille, for uh, writing that. Um, we're blessed with some fantastic customers that uh, say some wonderful things. And, you know, our, our philosophy here is treat others how we hope to be treated ourselves. And, um, you know, it's it's uh, just a, kind of a testament to what we do at Gardeners and, and uh, how we're connecting our customers with a great night's sleep. That's right. And speaking of blessed, we're blessed to have Kendra Campbell as a partner in our oh, business. Look at that transition. That was a good no. transition, man. I hit that. that I'm that blessed to be here. After being, <laughs> after being looped out for three weeks with a severe infection. Um, but uh, just a little side note, of course, in the time that we're in, you hear somebody's sideline for three weeks, everybody thinks COVID. No, no COVID, negative test. Thank, thank the Lord. Uh, just a severe, I'm, I'm good once, once a year for, uh, Ben knows this, we've been business partners Knock for 10 out. years. I'm good, I'm good once a year for, t- for, for a sinus infection. And Boy, this one was took the cake. So anyway, Kendra, welcome to the Hi. show. Hi, thank uh, you. Yeah, yeah. So why don't you tell everybody a little bit about what you do with Natural Awakenings, um, and you know, kind of how you came to be in the community with the book, with the magazine, and uh, and and let everybody know about what it is you do. Well, Natural Awakenings. Um, is about eight and a half years old here in Lancaster and Berks County. So we cover all of Lancaster County and also our um, sister county to the north, Berks County. And um, it really came about because um, myself and Jacqueline Mast, and also um, at the time that we started, there was a third person, Lois, um, who came together with the idea that we wanted to bring concepts of health and wellness to our community here. So Jacqueline had been in the healthcare profession. profession. I myself also um, was in healthcare in a different angle. And we just saw a need for quality of life throughout our whole life. And so trying to think about different ways to bring that to our area, um, we came up with a blog or came up with a magazine and encountered Natural Awakenings, which was representative of everything that we wanted to cover. A little bit of sustainability, a um, little bit of health and wellness from a nutrition standpoint, from a fitness standpoint, and also caring for our spiritual selves and for the environment. So we learned that it was part of a network across the country and really felt strongly that our community here was ready for education and messages like this and wanted to uh, kind of create a safe space also to see more businesses and more practitioners that were interested in these kinds of concepts to see that they would be supported, that this community was ready for it and would be supported. So that's when we um, took on the challenge of developing the magazine here in our area. It's been awesome. Where did the time go? I don't that's know. Great. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, we've been advertising with you for I think at least five years. Four or right? five years, yeah. At it's least, been, maybe longer. Six. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, the, the reality is, as you said, time flies. And, you know, what, what I think is interesting about, you know, when, when people use the words natural, holistic, healthy, sustainable, you know, I think there's a, a preconceived notion in, in some people's minds about, you know, a certain avatar that is created in their mind, right? Like the, the, the Birkenstocks hugging trees, 
and that's not what it's really about. I mean, you know, for me, I mean, I'm a big guy. I'm a gregarious guy. I was, you know, football player, wrestler type, you know, but for me, when it comes down to it, you know, like I, right now coming off this infection, I am utterly washed out from the antibiotics and they were a necessary, they, they were necessary. I just, I wasn't going to get over this really in any other way, but you know, the other I trust me when I say it, the other 48 weeks out of the year, I'm going to be like, I'm just not into, you know, the medicines. I'm not into, you know, I'm not into like things that aren't necessarily natural. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a surprising kind of guy in that regard. Um, you know, while I drive a pickup truck, I firmly believe that what we do with our uh, mattresses that we take out of people's homes, you know, we only go to the landfill once or twice a year um mm -hmm. everything is recycled everything is recycled and we've been doing that for 10 years you know and you know about every 10 days week to 10 days a 53 foot truck of used mattresses gets upcycled into some it goes somewhere it goes in a bucket somewhere um mm -hmm. so i think what what you're doing with natural awakenings is great because it's it doesn't need to be if you're looking to impact the community in an environmental way, there, there's ways to connect there, right? Um, if you're looking to improve your health, there's a plethora of, of people you work with that can be connective to the health goals that somebody has. Um, mm -hmm. I think Natural Awakenings is just a really great part of, of the Lancaster community because it, it, like I said in the intro, right? Like you don't have to go to New York City to kind of connect to some of these things that you might right. think of. Is that, is that, am I doing this justice? feels like I'm rambling. Yeah, no, you are. I think, I think, you know, people that have traveled certainly encounter things in California or in New York or wherever and are surprised and pleased to see that, you know, the Lancaster health community is really changing the landscape. And I always say that we like to hold it all. I think sometimes we need acute care. We need that conventional care, but we also need to kind of you know, um, take care of our bodies in a preventative way. So we need sort of the whole person care. And so our magazine really tries to be inclusive to that and not just um, promote one way of living, but kind of a whole way of living. And by the way, you know, that what you were talking about with your initiatives to take care of the environment in terms of mattress waste, that was just one of the many reasons why I came to you guys to buy a mattress um, plus the natural options that you offer and that kind of thing. But you really do have a mindset for our environment and our community that resonates with our magazine, kind of how we care for the community as a whole in all of these different ways, both the individual persons, but also how we care for our land and our resources. So I really appreciate that about you. And I think that's why you resonate. And that's why it makes sense to have that advertising relationship. So. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Kendra, what does a typical publication look like? Oh gosh. Well, it's like a monthly publication. It? It's yeah, it's inside of it. Like what do you what could you read about? What could you see? Or yeah. Yeah. Um, well, it's a monthly publication. It's free. So you can pick it up um, anywhere from a practitioner's office to Wawa to um, some of the grocery stores in the area or at Gardner's. Um, and so each month there's a monthly theme. And so the articles that we provide are highly educational. They're researched articles. So it's cutting edge information on these various themes. But we also have departments. So we talk about your pets. You might see mine walking in here. I've um, forced my cat to go in the basement for this um, time period, but the dog is very peaceful and he might join us here for a moment. So we talk about pets, we talk about kids, we talk about fit body, there's recipes. Um, you'll see a lot of local businesses and practitioners in our pages, um, but you'll see information that spans the country and even kind of with global issues as well. So it's hyper local and it's also kind of global in its, its educational information. There's also a great calendar in the magazine that um, we'll let you know what's happening. Even, even though COVID's happening, the events and classes and workshops haven't stopped. They're offered online and some in person. Um, so you can check that out in our magazine and in our digital issue. And um, we also have an online calendar as well. So there's lots of places and ways to connect with us. 
That's great. That's great. Speaking of pets, mm -hmm. so Simon, we're going to bring up our pet of the week here. Uh, I sent you some pictures. This is my foster. Uh, so mm -hmm. once we get the, the photo up, I'll dig into that. But uh, fostering animals for me has been something near and dear to my heart for a long, long time. Um, it's honestly one. There oh, there's my. Is. So there's my boy Gizmo on the left. That's the dog that captured my heart. Um, getting to know Dee Dee the first day we brought her home. Um, but uh, Simon, if we can maybe put up just a still of Dee Dee, that'd be great. Uh, there she is. There she is. She's got a face that only a foster dad can love, uh, or hopefully soon uh, her new family. But so she's from Zoe's House Rescue. Um, Zoe's House is uh, um, a pretty large rescue that spans Lancaster, Berks, Chester uh, counties, uh, even further. There's always in our group, there's always people picking up pets, transporting dogs. Um, you know, sadly here in Lancaster County, uh, as great as Lancaster County is. And, and by the way, guests, I want you to, I'm going to queue up our guests real quick here. Um, be ready to talk about what you love about Lancaster County, what you maybe have coming up in the upcoming weeks that you're doing that's fun and we can share and kind of highlight some things that's unique and what you might be doing so that others listening can uh, maybe connect in and do what you're going to do. But uh, anyway, back to Dee Dee. So she's, she's about a nine year old. There she is. She's about a nine to 10 year old English bulldog. Got a really big underbite as you can see. Um, <laughs> She's just a sweetheart. Uh, if you're looking for a low key dog that um, if you're just in the mood to kind of cuddle on the couch, she'll do that with you. I think I actually got a picture of that. Um, Are you trying to sell me a dog? Yeah, maybe, maybe. Um, but, uh, you know, so she's low key in that regard. Or, you know, if you want to go out for walks, uh, she'll go out for just about as many walks as you want to take. Uh, obviously, she's a little older. Um, so, you know, she's not going to go for four one hour walks in a, in a day, but, uh, but there she is. She's just a sweetheart. And, you know, as it goes with any charity, you know, the Wagner family, um, just gives a ton of their time to make a wish, uh, animal rescues. You know, we had off the streets, helping people with homelessness folks, you can donate time. And I, and I would venture a guess that, I mean, listen, every charity is going to like money, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, listen, money is helpful in, in many, many regards in life. But when it comes to charities, your time is just as valuable. So if it's just not in your budget to donate, um, but you find yourself on Saturdays routinely hanging around the house uh, or a Tuesday afternoon on your day off and you're looking for something to do, find a charity that connects with you, whether that's animal rescue, whether that's off the streets, whether it's make a wish. It doesn't matter. I, I guarantee you these charities would love, love to have your time. Um, and, you know, it, it's, I, I'm positive there's a fit, okay? Uh, even in animal rescue, even with Zoe's house, if you can't donate your home as a foster, which, which is work, okay? I mean, it, it, it's work, um, especially if you have other pets, especially if you have a busy schedule. But if you can drive and pick up the dogs that they pull out of mills. If you can get dogs that are in other people's homes and they're having a hard time getting into the specialized appointments, that's a way, you know, I, so I share that with you granularly about Zoe's house because that's just one way how a charity works that you might not have thought of. Uh, and I guarantee you, if there's something you're connected to, I guarantee you there's a fit. So I would just urge everybody listening and watching. Uh, that's how you give back. That's how you make our community become better and grow and thrive. So uh, with that said, um, panel, let's get the panel up on the screen if we can, and just kind of go through, um, you know, what what you like to do in your free time. What are your favorite outdoor activities in the area? Marsha, you want to kick it off? Um, well, our kids are in sports. My niece runs and we love to watch her in races and um, lacrosse games. My those sports are kind of there are a lot. <laughs> um, just a lot of family time outside too. And just we have once a month we my brother and his family come down and we have like a cool game day every you know that or once a month on Saturday. Just we did a chop competition that um, had a comp judges and everything. <laughs> oh, 
family time and pretty much anything. <laughs> great, great. Gary, what do you like to do? Well, most of my spare time is spent um, spending time with my grandchildren and spoiling them. And if I'm not doing that, perhaps my wife and I will take a day trip. Where do you like to go? We like to stay in central Pennsylvania. Uh, we like to go to places like Jim Thorpe and small towns that you can walk around in and visit for a day. Yeah, very cool. Have you ever done the uh, train ride up to Jim Thorpe? Yes. Yeah. That's, I've heard and that's we visit the prison. Where did you? <laughs> where do you? Uh, where did you originate on your train ride? Where am I personally from? No, no, no. When you when you took the train to uh, Jim Thorpe, where did you originate? Like, where did you start the train ride at? Oh no, we we got the train ride um, in Jim Thorpe, I believe. I remember. Uh, seeing oh, okay. it go through yep gotcha gotcha yeah i know there's a, a place in uh, reading that you can start i wasn't sure if that was it or if there was another right. uh, connection that you made but now a very cool place you know it, it's interesting where we live here i mean we just booked a family campsite in lenhartsville which is not lancaster but north of north of lancaster and burks and there's two there's two inlets to the Appalachian Trail. The other back end of the campground goes up to state game land. Uh, so it's pretty interesting where we live uh, to catch things like that. Kendra, what do you like to do on the uh, when you have time after publishing your great uh, community magazine? <laughs> I love to get outside, um, and I feel like this area is just gorgeous full of parks and you know with trails walking trails um places to hike and the wildflowers will soon be in bloom and you know with i just love taking my dog on hiking trails so or wherever i mean we're, like which which hiking trails sorry well, i can't that, hear you what's your dog's name by the way oh there oh, he is, is. Per perfect on cue on cue, that's Shane. On he's on a Border cue. Collie Australian Shepherd mix, and he's turning 11, nice. and he's just awesome. He's great. So we like to go to County Park, Lancaster County Park. We like to go um, down in the southern parks in um, Lancaster County. So, and we like to go, we like to take him other places too, you know, to the beach. Lancaster County is just situated in such a great place on the map. Um, we're close to, you know, forests we're close to the beach we're close to cities if you want to go there we're you know i just love where we live so all of those things are things that i like to do and i like to dine at you know some of our great restaurants that we have here in lancaster county so um we've been doing a little bit more takeout here in the last few months but what i love about lancaster county is just how all of that has just i don't know it kind of burst open all the takeout opportunities and the way people supported the small restaurants. So that's what I like to do, eat and walk it off. <laughs> there you go. It's a good plan, right? I mean, yeah. uh, you, you, need, you need to fill the belly because we have to eat. And then, you know, if you do a <laughs> yes. little too much, you go fix it. And so that's right. good. That's yeah, good. I, I, I was thinking about, um, you know, the parks and, and getting outdoors and doing stuff outdoors, you know, uh, as challenging as COVID shutdown was for a lot of people and businesses and whatnot. Um, one of the only things that you could do was go outside and go to a park and hike, bike, whatever. And w my family did a lot of that during shutdown. And it was great to see, you know, normally go to a park and you might see three, four, five people, but there were tens and 20, 30 people yes. in parks, parked, walking, hiking. So it was great that people were rediscovering um, mm -hmm. parks and, and uh, getting outside and doing recreation things. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I really hope that kind of thing continues. And that was, it, we're coming up on the one year anniversary of COVID. It's crazy. Uh, and not that we need to make this show about that, but, you know, when you talk about rediscovery, you know, there was kind of that, it's funny to say this, but I'm going to say it. There was kind of that sweet spot there, uh, I think the end of March of last year into April, where you had, you know, families, you know, your partner, whoever, whoever was in your home, 
you kind of rediscovered family meals together. Um, mm -hmm. At least we certainly did in our family and, and my friends and family that I talked to did the same. So that was kind of neat. I mean, you know, Kendra, you touched on the, the resilience of the Lancaster community. Um, adversity teaches us a lot and we can choose as a group of people to let it, let it take us down or, or help us rise above. Um, I'm going to nail the other transition. Do it. Go Mark, for it. So, so, so on that note, so as we wrap up, because we're, we're going to wrap up here in the next five minutes, uh, Gary, I want you to think about uh, some charities that you like to connect with that you can maybe share, uh, use this opportunity to give them some highlight. Kendra, the same, but Marsha, obviously make a wish is big um, for the Wagner family. Talk a little bit more about specifically little hands. Cause I'm not sure that I'm a hundred percent clear on, on what you do there and, and what the connection is. So why don't you fill everybody in there? Little Hands Big Plans is our um, nonprofit that we form to um, raise money for Make-A-Wish. Our families purchase um, a cotton candy snow cone um, trailer that we um, uh, oh, work at Buck Tractor Pool um, and the Salanco Fair to sell, and all the money goes to Make-A-Wish. Um, we organize um, two motorcycle rides a year. Um, and other little things, um, we take the trailer and sell egg sandwiches and hot dogs at craft shows, um, and just anything we can kind of think of the family creatively, um, to just get out in the community and promote make a wish, but also to raise the money for it. But it's our, it's a name we just came up with to, um, it, we have little hands meaning the children and stuff. And, it's just the plans of trying to, you know, make their lives better, but doing a little that we can. That's great. That's great. Snow cone made me think of summer. Yeah, yeah, it's right around. <laughs> um, so, so we'll, we'll we'll get you know your contact information into the show here. People will be able to um, connect with you. But what's a, what website? Do you, do you have a website they could go to? So if, this way, people aren't watching because we'll get the titles put in after we produce the show, but you know, if you're, if you're listening to the show, what, where could people go? We do not have a website. I'm very not technically challenged and I have three children and I work outside the home and I do a lot of the stuff by myself. I mean, my family helps with the events and stuff, but so I don't have a website. We are on Facebook at Little Hands Big Plans. Um, and, um, I have my phone number all over the place and, um, on the website. And okay. also um, my email. All right. So that's facebook.com forward. It would be facebook.com forward slash little hands, big plans. Is that right? Correct. Yeah. So facebook.com forward slash little hands, big plans. I mean, listen, I, I can tell you from, from personally, um, I've spoken with uh, Marsha's sister, Tanya, quite a bit over the years. Uh, got to know them well uh, through Make-A-Wish. This is just an incredible family that is doing wonderful, wonderful uh, work in our community. And that's why you're on the show. So thank you for us. Um, I've talked with this about Ben. So we, we, we believe in giving back to the community, both in, in our voice, amplification, th these kinds of opportunities for other charities. But when it comes down to it, dollars and cents, we commit a certain amount of money each month. Um, and what we've pretty much landed on, I think, again, remember there was a, a whole bunch between episode one and two that transpired. Um, but I think each episode, we're gonna commit to 125 bucks to each charity guest that comes on. So I know it's not a lot, but we're gonna do that every single week. And at the end of the year, that does amount to, to a nice chunk of money back into the community. So Marsha, we'll be, we'll be getting that to little hands for sure. Uh, to help with what you do there for Make a Wish, um, we just can't thank you enough for all the work that you do. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome, Gary. So, um, how does how does painting with a twist like to give back? What where where does that connection happen for you? Yes, well, we love to do uh, fundraisers for local charities and organizations. Uh, it's a lot uh, easier than selling hoagies or subs. All you got to do is um, throw a party and you get $10 a seat. 
And so lots of organizations like um, parent-teacher organizations, um, the Pet Pantry, a lot of uh, Relay for Life teams, uh, you name it. If you need to uh, raise money and you don't want to sell products, just uh, throw a party and, uh, and bring in income for your group. That's great. How big of a party can you host? Uh, we can hold up to about um, 42 to 50 people. Oh. Now, at the moment with the COVID, we're under a 50% restriction. And so our largest parties at the moment are around 25. But we're hoping that'll soon be lifted and we'll be back to uh, normal. That's awesome. Well, that's great. I mean, I've worked with a number of things and with my kids over the years, Cub Scouts, you know, PTA, PTO organizations. You're right. Yeah, you know, for 10 bucks, 10 bucks a head, um, you know, or, or a, a unit, if you will, um, that's a very good, nice number. So thanks for giving back that way. I'm, I'm sure everybody that comes through appreciates it. Gary, if people want to get a hold of Painting with a Twist, how do they do that? Where would they go? Sure, they can just go to our website, which is paintingwithatwist.com forward slash Lancaster. Uh, make sure it doesn't say Miami or Pittsburgh. And uh, they'll be able to see yep. our email, our phone number, and our daily calendar. Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, Gary, thanks for joining us. We really appreciate it. Uh, thanks, thanks for, for having uh, us. bringing a fun experience. Yeah, thanks for bringing a fun experience into Lancaster. Get those creative juices flowing, kind of shake the dust off from the last year. That's great. Kendra, how about you? you have, I'm sure you have no shortage of things you like to participate in, given your position in the community, all the people that come across your desk. But uh, what polls, where do you like to spend your time there? I have or a long just... list, but yeah, but the one of the things that I have been really a fan of for years, and I think it's especially great to mention right now with the businesses that are being challenged in the last year is assets. So assets is just um, a wonderful support and an asset to, I think, to our community, um, helping entrepreneurs um, realize their dreams to start their own businesses. And they're especially wanting to educate and support and affirm um, the efforts of um, Black, Indigenous, and persons of color and women. And so that's very important to me as well. And, you know, the more businesses we can see evolve, um, the you know, the chances are good that they'll be in our pages. And so we get to spread the word about them that way. So um, that's one of the organizations that we sponsor. And then we sponsor a couple of organizations that are concerned about the environment. So we were talking about, you know, my love of hiking and nature and thinking about birds and bees and butterflies and water. Um, so Lancaster Conservancy and Burke's Nature come up periodically um, as opportunities that we can sponsor some of their message. A um, couple of others that are important. I was a former employee of hospice and community care, and that will always be near and dear to my heart. So. I especially enjoy promoting their uh, bereavement programs in our calendars and some of the other programs that they offer throughout the year. Um, and then there's, I mean, there's just no end to, to other things that we um, really want to put the message out to the community. I think, you know, trauma healing and grief support and um, mental health care are very important to us. Um, so, you know, I, I could take I could take up too much time, but I'm just, I'm again, right. just really grateful for all of the ways that our community cares for each other. And so really there's no end to opportunities to volunteer or support or give or join forces um, with, in terms of nonprofits caring right. for the community. Yeah. Yep. Well, and that's the, you know, that's the, the great thing about our community and it's also kind of like, oh, it's like a rough thing about our community. There's, there's a lot of great organizations helping out people. And then there's also um, uh, no shortage of great organizations to help, right? So the, 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 the need is great. And, but the, the easiest thing you can do listening to this is just start, right? Like, you know, you look at the Wagner family, they, they started I think I, if I understood it 15 years ago, and you know, now they're in, nearing $100,000 in, in revenue. And again, 
I hope I got the message across. It doesn't have to be money. It can be time. It can be your, your, your voice. It can be your abilities. You know, that's what this show is about. It was what I saw um, when the opportunity presented itself to, to kind of create a, a connection, a portal, a place uh, where we can amplify great businesses, great people, great local heroes uh, in the Lancaster community. So that I think is going to be a wrap yeah, on great show. episode two. Um, Marsha, thank you for joining us. Say hello to everybody, please. Um, in the Wagner family, you guys are just a great asset to our community. And I'm sure um, you just think of it as what you're called to do, but we really appreciate it. Gary, thanks for joining us. Kendra, uh, Kendra, I'm sorry, how do people get a hold of you? I forgot one last uh, Oh, how do people um, get a hold the of website you? is nalancaster.com. Um, because we also serve Berks County, you can reach us at naberks.com. It's one in the same website. So um, yeah, and Facebook, Twitter, Instagram as well. Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, everybody, listen, thank you for uh, working with us on the on the back end of the show to get started. Thanks for hanging out for a few more minutes longer than we might have anticipated. But I think you contributed to a great show. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Lancaster Connects. Take care, everybody. Super Cereal.